Greetings, fellow cursed sailors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Barra Trauma. Episode 4, Curse of Falga. And we are blocked from going ahead. So probably what I'll end up going is killing the large crawler in Falga. As we aren't going to be able to go anywhere else. But in doing that, that gives us one more coalition XP. And then uh, we'll activate a beacon in the process. So I already know what my next mission is. Uh, and with that in mind, let's uh, depart for it. There's no point in sticking around here any longer. So we're going to kill a large crawler and activate a inactive beacon. Simnatas, thank you for the resub. One year. Cheers. And Cole Mike wants you to make him a genius. So a genius he shall make. And then I'll do JD last. Here he is. He's an egghead. All right, JD has a uh, hold breath. Hold breath longer, which doesn't really help you when you're wearing a suit. Uh, engine engineer. So submarine engines have 2.5% uh, max speed per level that you have. Um, so engines, I'll just call it. Faster engines. Uh, machine ma maniac. So extra uh, XP when repairing. I'm going to leave this one out. It's... Well, no, I'll leave it in. Multifunctional, deal extra damage with wrenches and crowbars. If we're having him brawl things. Uh, safety first, which unlocks the ability to make safety harnesses, which is a um, really high burn and shock resist harness. That we can graft or salvage crew. Gain XP, bonus XP when completing salvage. So there you go. Options are up there. Give you two and a half minutes to vote on that. And we'll be underway. So before I do anything else, let's go get that tool belt. And then we're going to want to put a man on the third gun. So here's my tool belt. Tool belt can store welder. Let's see. I'm going to have the tool belt store a diving mask. A plasma cutter. A handheld sonar. A flashlight. And... Two bandages. Nice. And it, you know, it doesn't fill my bar. So that's really, really sweet. Uh. Huh. I am going to have no one on the coil guns. And put, I'll hop on the coil gun if I need to. So, let's head to the beacon station. It is closest. It's only 300 meters away. There's also a bunch of crawlers, so... Use the ca captain pipe. The captain pipe will restore um, your psychosis meter a little bit. So it calms you down. So if you have... If you've got a little loopy, it can help. Wow, there is... One thing I find interesting is when there's nothing around you on ping, it looks like you're not even moving unless you're reading the numbers. Because you're just so far away from everything.
Alright. GD, it looks like we're doing engines. Here's our first beacon station. Oh, also there's enemies above us, but pretty far away. So I already have all the tools I'm going to want to... Oh, that's not true. I'm going to want a wrench and a screwdriver to also bring to the beacon station. But that's not going to be my, like, regular everyday carry. Additionally, it might make sense to send not fish pickles. Because fish pickles doesn't have particularly good repair skills. So I'm actually going to use JD for this and leave Fish Pickles there. So, Fish Pickles, I am going to steal your stuff. So, JD, you have a welding tool and plasma cutter, screwdriver, and wrench already. Um, so I'm going to take a flashlight. And that's it. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to remember to return the flashlight to Fish Pickles once I'm done. Because JD already has, like, everything that I'm I would want to bring over with me anyway. Um, beacon stations can also have loot. So I'm going to ditch the diving mask to free up some extra space. So in we go. Bring a weapon. Nah, not this first one. Also, for the love of, love of God, stop backseating me. Oh, I hear some some noises in there. So yeah, I'm going to actually turn back for a weapon. But I can already see some external damage out here, which I can repair. Because um, these beacon stations will be in um, different levels of disrepair. And sometimes they're occupied by critters or uh, by hostiles. I'll just leave it at that. Now, it's not necessarily required to pump out all the water and leave it in a nice condition. The goal of these uh, beacon stations is just to get um, the power back on. But, like, the condition of the station doesn't really matter. So you can leave it, like, flooded and broken if you want. I tend not to because it gives you experience for repair by, like, actually taking care of it. Oh, I don't have access to that. Uh, hey, fish, I'm going to steal your gun. Mine now. And your bullets. Oh, if you're wondering, G is grab, so you can transfer between um, inventories. And also, if there was someone who was unconscious, uh, you can hit H uh, to administer healing, which could be in the form of, like, CPR or administering drugs, stuff like that. Well, now I have a revolver and a flashlight. I'm ready to go. Almost popped out of the airlock without a suit. It's not fatal. All right, so we got an airlock here. And clearly something making a lot of noise on the other side. So there's no power to the, uh, the, the ping. Oh, it's husks. So these are zombies, essentially. Hello, zombies. Can I shoot? This is a... Mm, I don't think I can shoot through that. There's green wire here. I can actually just, like, loot it, too. So, uh, this has a, like, a, a water turbine to turn back on.
which I'm going to want to uh, to use. And they nibbled me, didn't they? Come on. Don't, don't. Don't go away. I might need to go get the stun baton. And like beat them over the head with a crowbar. Because I am almost out of rounds. Come on. Try to climb. Alright, stun baton it is. Sorry, fish, used up all your bullets. I did have a knife in the locker. Yep. Um. All right, you can have your revolver back. Oh, fish, I'm gonna, uh, take your ID card. Oh, I gave you my ID card. Let's do that backwards. I also have harpoons, but I'm gonna go with stun baton and, uh, knife. Instead. Thank you, fish. Here is your ID card back. Because I don't have access to those lockers. You have the flesh a little juice. And we're good to go. You know, the other thing that I could do is, knowing that there's combat there, actually use uh, FTT. As FTT is a higher combat skills. So let's go with that. I'm going to stick the stump baton in here and use FTT to uh, subdue that. Um... I don't, I'm not going to need handcuffs to subdue that, uh, that husk. And then we can switch back because uh, JD is already like maintaining the ship. And I don't really need a flashlight. That uh, that facility down there was pretty well illuminated. it off. Ow! Stop it! This is not a fun first beacon. If I can lure it out, I can use the guns as well. Oh, it flooded back in with me. Come on. We are going to kill you with a... Oh, I'm feeling feverish. That's not good. We're going to kill you with a big old gun salute. I'm gonna try to shake him. 
They are very, very tough, yeah. Much, much better to deal with bullets. Alright, he's off of the front of the ship. I think we're about to lose it. I also, what I could do is I, um... I'll use JD for this. I can lure it off into guns fire. Uh, it, it just might hurt. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, I could literally see him trying to bash the door down. Hmm. Oh, they cycled the airlock and he's on the outside. That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna do actually one other way that I'm, uh, where I'm just gonna have everyone wail on it. So, I'm gonna let it, oh, we're repairing the door. I'm gonna let it in and just have everyone smush it. Which might get me sick. Come on, enter the airlock, dude. He really just does not want to uh, cooperate. Alright, everyone. Get him! Ow. Yo, you're hitting me. Yes, plasma torch him to death. Just don't break that back window, please. God, it's like clown... clown school here. Honestly, I don't... I think I'm gonna have to retry. Cool Mike looks like he's straight up about to die. Because he got, like, stabbed by friendlies. Yeah... I, <laughs> cool Mike is, like, dying. Hey, uh, FTT. Is becoming a husk himself. I am just gonna do a retry. I think it's worth it. To, to pull the trigger on that and approach this differently. So, mission retries. Ramp that up to one. It sucks when you run out of bullets. One, one of the, um, one of the skills that I... I commonly prioritize very early on is either buy a bunch of revolver bullets or unlock gunsmith because of how annoying it can be to deal with certain because if, if if what was in there was like a a mud raptor or something like that it would have been a lot easier to deal with than multiple husks that just like absorb bullets like crazy the other thing that I could do is with the door closed I could have just peered in and been like oh it's two husks there was other ways to approach it so I'm going to try to uh, approach it differently this time, where I will, um, I'll cut into the facility with a plasma torch and, uh, and pull them out into the open where we can fire on them. I think that's probably a better way to go about it and probably the way I should have, uh, had I been a more experienced player with, but you know, hindsight being 2020, uh, I can do it better this time. Also realized I don't have my tool belt. Who's steering? Oh no! Yeah, it's it's not worth uh, having people like have a bunch of husk infections where I have to pay for very expensive medical treatment for them to live early on. Anyway. Melee is, uh, is real rough, especially with like the basic weapons that you start with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to park the ship in such a pattern that the bottom laser rifle is pointed at the eastern side of the, the beacon station. And then FTT is going to be issued the order to man that specific weapon. And then Fish Pickles is going to be ordered to man the front one. And then JD, oh, I have to do your skills. And cool Mike's skill too. 
JD is gonna go in and uh, and deal with that. And this time, I'm not even gonna go with the uh, the revolver. I'm gonna save my bullets. I'm gonna use these ship weapons to to do the work for me. But I first want to confirm that it is the same threat. I think it should be, but like, better check. Am I interested in playing multiplayer? No. I should have brought my sonar. Oh, there it is. Okay, yep, there's the gun pointed straight at the beacon. And I can hear the husks. They're still husking around. So there's a there's also a lot of, a lot of loot, not specifically beacon stations, but there will be other like salvage where there's a lot of loot opportunity. So don't pass up. Uh, one of the things to note is like the things that I can loot here has changed. So although it's still husks, um, instead of like the wire, now there's a wrench and two two fuel. I'll put that away. Hi, Huskies. Is this a window? Must be. Ouch. The inflow is like shoving me into it. All right. Uh, what the hell? Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna have to do another retry, but like this time? I'm sorry. When did mud raptors get on the ship and kill everyone while I'm away? <laughs> what the hell, man? No one shot them? Nobody thought to, to actually shoot the giant mud raptor that were boarding and murdering everyone? I thought we were fine, and then, like, I looked back, and it was like FTT died, and then, like, someone else died. It was just, like, a complete mud raptor inf infestation. Note to those on the ship. Please shoot the mud raptors. My guess is because the top guns weren't manned, uh, the mud raptors came in from the top and like perfectly uh, subverted all the defenses that we had set up. So this time, uh, I will account for that, which is crazy. It's it. This is one of those like if it can go wrong, it will go wrong, right? So crew list, FTT, you go for bottom guns. JD, you go for front gun, fish pickles, you go for top gun, and that leaves Cool Mike to go aboard. Now, maybe I'll have Cool Mike do the front gun. Alright, park here. Don't piss off anything that you don't need to. Actually, I'll have Cool Mike do the repairs. He's, uh... Because the, um... If I'm not mistaken... Oh, and I have to do the things again. Yeah, the station engineers are are, are part of the engineer tree. So even though he's not getting bonus XP from it, I'll have him be the one to do it. Uh, oh, this ran out of fuel. I was like, cool. <laughs> Not a very good nuclear reactor engineer. Letting it run out of fuel. All right, fish, when you are not shooting, run the reactors. So changing the priority so they're all on guns. And they're all ready. And here we go. Third time's a charm. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have a plasma cutter. <laughs> All right, time to go back. That was a short excursion. And there's the tool belt that will eventually be uh, fish pickles, because we're in this time zone again. Knowing what I know, I'm not going to bother going into the thing. I'm just going to straight up start cutting into the side. Because there's no point in me like, visual confirmation, there's husks for the third time. So because the submarine's weapons do oh so much more damage than the puny weapons that we have on our suits, I'm just going to break the beacon station even more, lure them out in the open, and then uh, once the two husks are dead and have not shredded my people, repair the beacon up again. You coming? And if you're wondering, there we go. There we go. Come on. Aim well. So it nibbled my ankle, but that's a lot less damage than what happened to me again. Oh, they dropped me eggs and uh, an ID card. Come on, other one. I'm really tasty. Pew 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 pew. Aim better. All oh, right in the head. Another ID car and more eggs. Curious, I'm gonna get feverish. But yeah, that that way was a. Uh... Oh, we've been more skilled than, than the previous ones. Now, with any luck, we won't have uh, uh, mud mud raptor shred the crew. Uh, what I will do is I will cycle JD to do some ship maintenance and get off the guns briefly. Because cause I also don't want the ship to like fall to disrepair in Mike's absence with everyone manning the guns. So before I even go bother going inside, I'll, uh, I'll fix some repairs outside. Because I do, it's role playing, but I do like to leave the beacons in like nice shape. Um, as I said before, you don't have to. As long as the uh, the console's turned on, it's you get credit. But it's weird to have it be all wrecked. In we go. Now, because I intentionally flooded this, it's going to take a little bit longer to deflood it. But at least there's not crazy husks inside. Oh, and we got like a bit of wrench out of that. Which I'll probably end up giving to uh, to JD, because JD is the dude that uses the wrench. So that uh, repairs 10% faster, because it's nicer quality. So flipping the water intake valve, which turns on the turbine. And then repairing the junction boxes or becoming electrocuted multiple times. Probably a bit of both.
What I could have checked is to see... Uh-oh. Uh, stuff's going on. Uh, check to see what junctions are paired to what pumps. Because obviously the first thing that we're going to want to do is to pump out all this excess water. Why was there medical assistance in the gunnery, though? That has me concerned. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to switch back over real quick to see what's going on in the ship. Mm, no one's hurt. Oh, uh, uh, JD burned himself doing maintenance. So, not a big deal. I was... I had a, I had a little bit of, uh, let's call it trauma from the Mud Raptor murder that happened. The flow of water keeps pushing me off of the repair. I'm actually really lucky that I didn't get burned. All right, are these pumps broken? Yeah, they're a little broken. Are we taking in more water? Why aren't we... All right. Activate sonar, the beacon's back online, so I get credit. Oh, and I hear the guns going off. Hmm. I'm not sure what we're taking in water, though. I'm going to grab the oxygen tank from this mask and stick it in my suit. Huh. This thing is totally flooded. Was oh, this broken? No, this is the intake. I'm not right, rightly sure. Well, if I turn off water intake... I don't see that the water levels are going down anywhere. It might be one of those things like, I just allow it to be broken. Because we've already activated the beacon, the beacon's on, it's pinging. And I'm not sure where the hole is that it's flooding constantly. Because it doesn't seem like these pumps are... Uh, doing much of anything. The thing is, like, at least I get repair experience. Hey, bud. Below the... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. There's the hole. Oh, uh, yep, there goes the water. Wow, that one little hole filled this whole place up. And then while I was messing around in here, uh, the people back in the, um, in the ship were defending against something. I'll find out soon. So just to max out my experience, I'm just going to repair everything here. It would make the most sense to repair it once the water has subsided. Things like pumps, obviously, don't get damaged from water. But, um, everything else does. So, I don't see corpse pings from this sonar. So, I'm not really sure what attacked. But I will find out soon. Cheers. 
And this is what I mean by like role playing where you actually fix everything that needs fixing. Because it's, although it's not necessary, it's a nice boost of experience. And, um, oops, that was misclick. And it makes things look nice. As if you're actually trying to contribute to the benefit of Jovian or European humanity. And I think my electric... Oh, misclicked again. I think my electrical engineering actually just hit 55. Yep, it hit 55, meaning that um, there's no fail as long as I don't misclick. So, level up has been a benefit. My mechanical engineering still needs some help. That's where JD would be better than Cool Mike, because he's the mechanical engineer. And I, that's pretty much everything that needs repair, so let's, uh, let's skedaddle. I don't think I left anything unlooted. got a little nibble. Uh, we have a lot of stuff breaking on the ship. And that's going to need to get fixed. What the hell happened here in my absence? Oh, you know, no one is even fixing... Okay, I see. Fix the leaks. That's me. That's on me. I didn't issue those commands, because normally JD would do it, but he's been busy. Whoa! Holy hell! Broken much? So something attacked and was uh, very successful in breaching the ship. And breaking a lot of stuff. Yeah, they had quite the party while I was out. And now, I'm stuck repairing... ...the damage from the crashed party. Yeah, I can... I think it was crawlers. Don't tell me how I can guess. I, I have a hunch. So generally, order order of operations is to fix the leaks first. Uh, are you kidding? Who died? We... I can't... I just... Lord! We're going for a third. Alright, I'll try to do this even better, but my goodness. Thank you for tuning in to Borrowed Trauma, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that I've asked for no backseating or spoilers for this series, which includes the comments as well. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, and if you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to it. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you on next episode or an upcoming stream of another game. Farewell, my fellow Europans.